Hello, I'm Negative Infinity, and my hair looks like something that just came out of Dr. Frankenstein's lab or something. Um, so I figured I'd make a video. Because reasons and things. Um, the plants are doing okay, everybody's doing fine. I wanted to show you this picture, though. This thing is massive. Freaking massive. It's the thickest picture I have. Um, but yeah, it's it's the biggest picture in, uh, in dearth. And this is the biggest picture in height that I have in my entire collection. Beautiful picture. But, uh, mostly I wanted to make this because I'm holding off on the coffee fertilization video that, uh, Dylan Doss, uh, wanted me to make. Uh, because I don't really have any coffee at hand. And that, and I just fed them fish food. So, uh, you'll see that coffee fertilization video pretty soon. Uh, just hold out hope. Because, you know how I am, I'm pretty lazy, I don't really upload videos too often, in fact, uh, the only reason I'm uploading at all is because he requested that I upload, so I'm like, alright, well, let's upload, um, well, I'm uploading, you get to see my face a lot, there's not much going on with the plants, that's why I don't upload too often, it's like a lot of people upload constantly because they've got billions of different plants, and they've got billions of different plants doing billions of different things, so, they've got things to talk about, I don't. I have a collection full of plants that sit there and do nothing most of the time. I could go outside and show you the, uh, the Bionata and the, um, the Multifida, because the Bionata's flowering, and the flowerscape has gotten pretty big, and the, uh, the Multifida's coming back from hibernation. So I guess we'd go outside and go see that, and the Aphenis is making leaves. So I figure, yeah, let's go outside and go see that. And that's really all I can show you, because there's not really much happening. Most of my plants are slow-growing, because most of my plants are Nepenthes. So, my two Saracenia species that survived haven't woken up yet, so... They won't wake up until about May or so. It's getting hot, so hopefully they'll wake up soon. Yeah, it's getting so hot that walking out here makes my face burn up. This is the onion, by the way. Here, check that out. That's the onion. How tall that thing's gotten. And these are the plants, the Bionata and the Multifida and the uh, Aphenis. They need more water later. But yeah, this is a flowerscape. And this is that tendril that I was telling you about that the Multifida's making. That's the Aphenis with its leaves and, stu and such. And uh, yeah, this guy's got massive leaves. This, mul this uh, not Multifida, this Bionata is making massive leaves. So yeah, it's doing. They're all doing just fine. They could use a little bit more light, but as you can see, the sky is pretty overcast. So yeah, there's not much I can do on that front. Let's just go back inside. And I'll show you some stuff in my horticultural supplies drawer. What? Probably dreaming about something. But yeah, I'll show you something in my horticultural supplies. Yeah, I'll show you some stuff in my horticultural supplies drawer. So, this is why I wanted to show you this stuff. An average person would look at this and just be like, what the fuck? What is all this stuff? Cubic containers, tiny scissors, the tweezers are self-explanatory even though they're covered in epoxy that I need to clean off before I start working with plants again. But yeah, it's pretty much cured on there. I was using these to apply epoxy, and that project went horribly wrong, and they got horribly sticky. So I need to clean them. Not only that, but they smell horribly of epoxy. Pitcher trimmers. That little spot right there is perfect for clipping the pitchers of taller pitcher plants, not um, Nepenthes. This is my uh, my coffee applier applicator. So what I'd do is I'd get the coffee up in there, and then I'd push this little valve here up against the lip of one of the pitchers, and it just dumps the coffee in there. I'll make a video of it later. But it's like 50% coffee, 50% water, and you're only supposed to apply a little bit to it into the pitchers. Um, and it works. It works really well. Um, 
I've got Q-tips in here that are full of junk. This probably happened because of the, um, the water from the, um, from the <sighs> PGA pouring down into here. But yeah, that is something that I need to keep. Some gladiolus bulbs, I think. This one's probably dead. A rubber band that I don't remember why I used it. Apinogaton bulb. And these are two of these. And I should probably put these back in some water and see if they'll grow again, because I don't know if they will. They might. But yeah, these are water plants. Let's see what the seeds are doing. The babies. The babies. I doubt they're doing anything. If anything, we've lost some. Yeah, it doesn't look like the capensis that were in here, except for that one little guy back there. Yeah, it doesn't look like they survived. Hmm. I have some capensis in my uh, my multi feeder. Um, in with my multi feeder pot, so I'm not too uh, concerned about that. Plus, I'm probably going to be ordering some capensis uh, from predatory plants. Capensis is red. Oh, and also for those of you that want to be like, oh my god, you're pronouncing it wrong. It's pronounced, it's pro pronounced capensis. Yeah, I, I'm well aware of that. But yeah, you can see there's one there, there's one there, and one popped up not too long ago, and I don't remember where it, oh, right there. But yeah, we have three baby... Uh, Saracenias open pollinated, so we're not exactly sure what they are. I think it's was like it's a bunch of collected open pollinated seeds, so God knows what I'm gonna get. I could get some uh, flat liars, like some purpurea and uh, some Cetacena mixes, or I could get a bunch of upright pitchers, which I would love, absolutely would love. I love the trumpet pitchers absolutely to death. Those are my favorite kinds of sarsenia, and a lot of people would uh, say, oh, why, how can your favorite kind of sarsenia be uh, the trumpet pitchers when you only ever had one kind? Because I was unable to get them. Uh, I'm going to have to show you something. Uh, I believe I've showed you this already. But this is going to be my next order of um, plants. That is after my primula flora from uh, California carnivores, but yeah, hold on. My count... You cart. There we go. So this is my next big order. And that is the Sarsenia Flava Extreme Red Throat. We're going to try that again with a different species of flava. Uh, minor Oki, uh, Flytrap Dente, a Drosser Spatulata, and a Utricularis Andersonii. So two Sarsenias, a Venus Flytrap, a New Drosser, and a Utricularia. Yeah, I know, I'm always a Nepenthes guy. Whatever happened to the whole Nepenthes idea? Well, they grow too slow. I want to make videos. I want to be that guy that always publishes videos constantly, just like Plants and Things and uh, Brad's Greenhouse and uh, all those other people that publish videos all the time. I want to be like them. I need fast-growing plants. And more of them. The Utricularias are really boring, they're just a bunch of little leaves that stick up over the surface, so until they flower, it's not going to be much. But the Spatulata, the Dente, and the two uh, Sarasenias should definitely help. Oh, you can see me on my computer screen right there. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, Dylan, about the uh, fertilization video, coffee fertilization video. That's not going to be coming for a little while until I either until either the pitchers finish digesting the fish food they've already got on them I'll probably do it when that guy pops actually so that guy right down there when that guy pops I'll do it because it'll need to be fertilized as soon as it pops so that we can get a bigger pitcher out of it 
with more bright, colorful colors. But yeah, until the, my next video, which won't be from too, which won't be too long from now. Four three eight seven out. Peace.